State of Ohio versus Jennifer M. Jillick, case number 2011-020440. Defendant is present this morning via teleconference from Summit County Jail, represented by Attorney Reed Yoder. Your Honor, date of arrest was February 16, 2011. Attorney Yoder, were you appointed or retained? I was retained, Your Honor. Thank you. The assigned judge? Judge McCarty. Mr. Yoder, may I proceed? Thank you, Your Honor. May it please the court. My client has received a copy of the indictment. She would waive defect time in her service. We waive reading the indictment in open court. She understands the maximum penalty that can be imposed. We would enter a not guilty plea on her behalf. Ask to be allowed after Judge McCarty's court and set for pretrial. Thank you. That not guilty plea is accepted. It will be set for pretrial in front of Judge McCarty on March 10th at 1 o'clock. Your Honor, we would like to address bond with the court's permission. Go ahead. It's my understanding, Your Honor, that pretrial release is going to recommend a downgrade of that bond to 250,000, 10%. Is that an accurate statement? That's correct, Your Honor. With the same conditions, maximum supervision and scram. Your Honor, we would ask the court to follow that recommendation. I know the court has had a prior conversation with pretrial release. I would like to put on the record, though, that my client's 30 years old. She's lived at the same residence for the past four years. She is a resident of Summit County for the past 27 years. She had two jobs when this incident took place. I understand that her criminal record consists of one prior OBI and then also another OBI when she was a minor. I believe she has a disorderly conduct. She has no prior felonies on her record at all. She has a large support system in place. Her family and friends are in the courtroom today. Your Honor, I can tell you that with the 500,000 bond, which is currently in place, it's a bond I don't necessarily agree with. I think it's high for this case. With an aggravated vehicular homicide, these cases are obviously, the mens rea associated with them is more reckless than with actually having the intent to commit an offense like this. If the court were to release her, I can tell you that she does not have access to an automobile. That's been impounded. Obviously, with the scram, the court has more incentive also to let her out as well. I can also tell the court that I don't believe that she's going to be able to make that 250,000, 10%. It's my intent today to try to get that bond reduced and then also to address this bond again with Judge McCarty in hopes of being able to get her out at a later date. But I would ask the court to reduce the bond at this time. Judge, the state would oppose any amendment to the bond. The defendant in this case, her blood alcohol limit was almost four times the legal limit. She does have two priors. And, Your Honor, she does work at a bar. She did flee the scene and hid. And the police did find her laying on the floor in the basement. The victim in this case was simply walking her dog. And the victim was killed as well as the animal. So the state would oppose any amendment to bond at this time. Your Honor, not to discuss the case at this time, but we would take objection to the fact of the characterization of my client's hiding at the time. That's actually not what the case was. I certainly appreciate the arguments made by defense counsel. But at this point, I am going to leave the bond at $500,000 cash. This case has been assigned to Judge McCarty. You may certainly bring up the issue of bond with Judge McCarty. She may feel differently than I do. The pretrial will be set on March 10th at 1 o'clock with Judge McCarty. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Timothy Williams, 